the eye that gazes into the origin of everything. The first true window that opens into eternity itself. The James Webb Space Telescope stands not simply as a machine, but as humanity's greatest eye, turned toward the infinite canvas of the cosmos. Its golden mirrors do more than gather light. They collect the oldest whispers of creation, catching the glow of stars that have traveled through the ocean of darkness for billions of years. Each ray Webb captures is not just distant starlight, it is memory. A message from the universe's earliest dawn, carrying the story of everything that has ever existed and all that will come after. With every new discovery, Webb becomes the universe's storyteller, translating the language of light into tales of creation, time, and life. Stories that began long before human eyes ever looked upward with wonder. Its mission is both scientific and poetic, to unveil the unseen worlds, to retrace the birth of galaxies, and to seek our place among the stars. Recently, scientists pointed this incredible instrument toward a faint star about 120 light years away, never expecting what it would reveal. What Webb found there changed everything. For the first time, the telescope detected unmistakable carbon-based molecules, the essential building blocks of life, drifting in the atmosphere of a distant alien planet. That planet, called K218b, is unlike anything in our solar system, yet strangely familiar. About eight and a half times the mass of Earth, it orbits within its star's habitable zone, the region where temperatures might allow liquid water, the cradle of life as we know it. Webb's instruments revealed an atmosphere rich in hydrogen, laced with methane and carbon dioxide, a pattern so intriguing that it set the scientific world ablaze with excitement. Could this be an ocean world, a planet wrapped in thick clouds and deep, dark seas? Could alien life, however strange, exist beneath its shimmering skies? Earlier observations from the Hubble Space Telescope hinted at water vapor around this planet. Now, Webb has gone far beyond that, decoding the light that passes through its atmosphere, uncovering the faint fingerprints of complex carbon chemistry, the foundation of life itself. Even more astonishing, Webb detected no traces of ammonia, suggesting a balanced chemistry that could allow liquid water to exist. And then came the most mysterious clue of all, a possible signal of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule that, on Earth, is produced only by living organisms. Here at home, DMS rises from oceanic life, a soft chemical echo of existence. Could a similar whisper be drifting through the air of K218b, carried by alien seas? If confirmed, this would mark one of the most extraordinary discoveries in human history, the first evidence that life's chemistry exists beyond Earth. Scientists remain careful. The DMS signal is faint, a single note in the cosmic symphony. More observations are needed before any truth can be declared. Yet, even the possibility reshapes everything we thought we knew. Researchers from the University of Cambridge have suggested something extraordinary that the distant exoplanet K218b might belong to an entirely new class of planets, a Hycian world. A world that is part hydrogen and part ocean, wrapped in layers of thick mist, with endless seas stretching beneath a twilight sky. Imagine standing there, under a dim sun that never truly sets or rises. The horizon glows in shades of blue and violet. Above, Hydrogen clouds drift slowly across a crimson sky, their light bending through an atmosphere dense and alien. Below, vast oceans press against the planet's core, worn from within, their surfaces forever veiled by mist. And somewhere beneath those clouds, perhaps, in the depths of that dark sea, life could exist. Not life as we know it, but something built from the same universal chemistry, shaped by time, pressure, and chance. Every clue to this mystery arrives not through sight, but through light. When K218b passes in front of its star, a tiny fraction of starlight slips through its atmosphere before reaching us. That light carries information, a cosmic barcode of atoms and molecules. 
The James Webb Space Telescope captures those faint photons, breaking them apart into their spectral signatures, molecule by molecule, color by color, and from that pattern, scientists decode an entire world. From that fragile shimmer, across 120 light years of darkness, a planet takes shape in human imagination. A world unseen, yet known, born from the delicate intersection of light, time, and intelligence. Webb's instruments revealed traces of methane, carbon dioxide, and perhaps even dimethyl sulfide, a molecule that, on Earth, is produced only by living organisms in our oceans. If confirmed, this would mean that the same chemical fingerprints of life that fill Earth's atmosphere might also exist on a world light years away. To be certain, scientists now turn to Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. This instrument can peer deeper into the infrared spectrum, searching for signs of clouds, weather systems, and temperature variations, clues that could reveal an active carbon cycle, or even biological processes. Every observation brings us one step closer to answering a question as old as time itself. Are we alone? But while Webb searches for life around nearby stars, it also peers backward, far beyond time as we know it, into the universe's own beginning. And what it finds there is no less miraculous. In a distant galaxy known as SPTO 41847, billions of light years away, Webb detected something remarkable the presence of complex organic molecules, the same carbon rich compounds that make up soot, smoke, and even the basis of life on Earth. These aromatic hydrocarbons existed when the universe was only 10% of its current age, meaning the chemistry of life began almost 13 billion years ago. That ancient light started its journey long before our sun was born, before Earth existed, before time had written its familiar patterns into the stars. It traveled through expanding space, untouched and unchanged carrying the story of how life's ingredients emerged almost as soon as the first stars ignited. For generations, scientists believed that such molecules formed slowly, over immense stretches of time, after aging stars released heavy elements into the cosmos. But Webb's data paints a different picture, a universe impatient to create. A cosmos that began building the chemistry of life almost immediately as though creation itself were eager to begin the experiment of existence. Astronomers found these carbon molecules concentrated in stellar nurseries, vast clouds where new stars are being born. There, within the dust and chaos of creation, both starlight and organic chemistry emerged together, suggesting that the birth of a star and the birth of life's ingredients are deeply intertwined. The galaxy itself, though ancient and small by cosmic standards, already rivals our Milky Way in complexity, filled with carbon, oxygen, and the seeds of creation. It is as if the universe, in its youth, rushed to write the first chapters of the story we now continue. Could this mean that life began far earlier than we ever imagined? Could it be that the universe itself is programmed to create, to generate living chemistry wherever the conditions allow? If carbon, water, and energy are its alphabet, then perhaps life is the language of the cosmos, spoken again and again across time and space. These are not just scientific questions. They are questions of being. Questions that touch the deepest part of what it means to exist. Every photon web captures, every fragment of light that has traveled across billions of years, reminds us of our connection to this grand design. Because we, too, are made of this same ancient stardust. The carbon in our cells, the oxygen in our lungs, the iron in our blood, all were forged in the hearts of long dead stars. When we explore the universe, we are not looking outward, we are looking inward, into the very matter and meaning of ourselves. So, what do you think?